Okay, in this example, we're talking about a grain silo, which is a giant cylindrical building with a cone for a roof, and a grain silo has a diameter of 20 feet and a height of 50 feet to the base of this cone roof. All right, uh, so key dimensions here, grain silo diameter of 20 feet, it's a giant cylindrical building, and a height of 50 to the base of the roof. So the cylinder part is a height of 50. We want to find the volume of simply this cylinder part. All right, so let's draw it. Just focusing on the cylinder. All right, and there we are looking at a diameter here of 20 feet, okay, and a height of 50. Okay, we'll ignore the roof for the moment. Feet. All right, so we know from our formula booklet that the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times the height. One quick thing, the diameter is 20, so that means that the radius is 10. So pi 10 squared times a height of 50. All right, so 100 times 50 is 5,000 pi. Okay, so you can leave your answer exact like that, or you could multiply it out and round your answer to three significant figures. Okay, and this are feet cubed. All right, if I want to find the total volume of a grain silo, then I'm looking for the entire thing, and I need to take into account that the total height is 58. So now I've got the cone on top. Okay, I did this, but I need this top part, this cone, right? It also has a diameter of 20 and a radius of 10, but the whole thing is 58, which means that the cone itself is 8, okay? The volume of a cone is 1 third pi r squared h. Again, 1 third pi 10 squared, and then the height is 8. All right, this one I'm going to round to three significant figures. So 800 pi over 3, 800 pi over 3 gives me 837. Uh, eight rounded to three significant figures, 838. The seven makes it go up to eight. And that is feet um, cubed. All right, so the total volume of a grain silo, we need to add those two things together, this keyword total, so five, thousand pi plus 838 will give us to three significant figures. So let's add 5,000 pi and three significant figures, 16,500 because the four truncates the five. So 16,500 total cubic feet for the entire amount of grain that can, the silo can hold. All right, in the last part, we know that one cubic foot of grain can feed a family of three for a week. How many people could be fed for a month, let's assume that's four weeks, by the grain in six of the silos? We know that 16,500 cubic feet is the amount in one silo. We multiply that by six to get 99,274 cubic feet overall. Then we need to take this and think about what's happening. So 99,274 cubic feet of grain, one cubic foot can feed a family of three for a week. That means you need four cubic feet to feed a family of three for a month. So how many times does the four weeks, right? And then 
that's a family of three, and the question asked for how many people, okay, then we multiply by three because there's three in the family, all right? So 99,274 divided by four times three will give us 74,456 people we won't round. We'll leave people because it makes more sense to leave them to the nearest whole person. 456 people.